Hello and welcome to daily read video. In this video, we will see how to check the battery cycle count of your iPhone and iPad. Uh, because when it comes to iPhone, you have the battery uh, health percentage, which Apple measures from 100% uh, and it will be reduced to you know up to 80%, which requires you to change the battery in your iPhone. And this is available from iPhone 6 and above models. But if you want to precisely check the battery cycle count, just like you do on your Mac computer, uh, so that you know for some reason that people will be uh, eager to know the exact amount of uh, the the numbers that their battery cycle count has reached. So iDevice Help is the YouTube channel which actually published this tutorial at first, and uh, many people have asked they were not able to find the log aggregated file. So in this tutorial, I like to mention like how to generate. Uh, that log aggregated file if you haven't already you know got that in your iPhone so uh, all you have to do is go to the privacy tab and then scroll down a little bit and there you can see the analytics and uh, improvement tap on that and then go to the analytics data so when you scroll down you must be seeing the log aggregated you know it is arranged in alphabetical order J I J K L so here you can see uh, that the log aggregated files are generated today and for yesterday so what i actually did was uh, while checking yesterday the log files were not there these log aggregated four files were not there other files are there but uh, what i did was i had to turn turn off and turn on the share iphone and watch analytics once again uh, and then i have enabled the improve siri and deduction dictation i'm sorry uh, dictation and then share icloud analytics and then uh, health records that's all so i thought to enable the other uh, toggles but uh, i felt like uh, that within uh, the share icloud analytics and uh, the improve city deduction itself is enough um, so i had to turn it off and turn it on again and then give like 24 hours to a little extra time then come back here uh, then scroll down and you will see the log aggregated file uh, which is you know generated uh, as you have enabled the iPhone analytics as you reset the iPhone analytics and as per the iDevice help video you can tap on the last file and scroll to the bottom or you can simply copy everything um, because it is quite a huge file uh, it is not easy to find the exact battery cycle count from this huge uh, list uh, of text you have to select everything and then copy then go to the notes uh, create a fresh new note here in the new note just paste it'll take a little bit time you know depending on the size of the file and then tap on the share icon come to the bottom and find in note and then type battery i'm sorry battery cycle count this is a new iphone and it has the battery cycle count of 29 um, as you can see here from this data so this is how you can generate the file if it is not available on your iphone already um, so similar the same thing applicable to the ipad so if you are not seeing the log aggregated file in the ipad then you have to go to the uh, privacy tab and then uh, go to the analytics and improvements tab and turn it on give at least 24 hours and little extra time then navigate to the analytics data and uh, you will be able to see the the log aggregated file in this area right now as you can see it has the low battery log and then uh, the luma fx application related log log aggregated file is existent here because i haven't enabled it so far so that is one of the reason and if you have already enabled and it is not appearing then you can turn it off and turn it on again so i hope this helps and for more iphone related ipad related tips and tutorials don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you find this video useful feel free to share it with your friends at twitter and facebook thanks for watching have a wonderful day